Hi you guys. So, I know what you're probably thinking. This girl changes her hair a lot. Or, what did you do to your hair, girl? Okay, I'm going to tell you. So, okay, I was prepared to like have this long rant that I was going to record because when I first got my hair done, I was so pissed off because this Let me tell you right now. This isn't the color that I asked for, okay? I asked for a light brown or a dark blonde or if you can't like mix those two color together can you give me a honey blonde and as you can see my hair is orange it's orange yeah so yeah I was planning on ranting and cussing and all this stuff and then I recorded that and I saw that I looked like a fool arguing to a camera, right? Because I know you guys are going to watch this later, but for the time being, I'm arguing to a camera. And I just felt like I looked really crazy and it wasn't me. So I'm just going to come to you guys and just show you guys exactly what happened to my hair. And I'll kind of tell you what happened, but I'm not going to do all the dramatics that I had planned when I was mad or when I attempted to do it again not too long ago and it just turned out wrong. So yeah. Um, where should I get started? So okay. Like I said, I wanted a light brown and of course as you can see on my head, I didn't get it. Um, I went to the hairdresser because I went home this weekend. I compromised with my mom and I told her if you would let me get my hair done at a shop and let them dye my hair, I won't wear weave for a while. So basically for the summer. She agrees. We go to the hairdresser on Saturday morning. And my appointment was for 9 o'clock, right? But I didn't get out of the salon until 5 o'clock in the evening. It's not even afternoon anymore. It's evening. And, yeah. My Saturday was pretty horrible. Um, I don't know. Like, that experience really makes me not want to go to a hairdresser anymore. And it makes me want to learn more about hair myself. So I never have to go through that again. Because I don't understand how, for me, I can color somebody's hair and it come out just fine. But a licensed hairdresser can mess up somebody's hair. Like it, It's nice now. But like I said, this wasn't the color I asked for. Mistake number one that she did was that she bleached my hair. My healthy hair, she bleached it. She bleached basically all of it. I asked for dark roots, like to keep my roots the same color that they were. And have like a light brown or honey blonde color. As you can see, she only got one thing right, which was to keep my roots dark, right? So, mistake number one, she bleached my whole head. Like, bleach on my healthy hair mistake number two she tried to lie to me when um obviously when the color was bleach blonde and she tried to put another like brown color on it and it was still bleach blonde she lied to me and said oh yeah girl this is the color that you wanted no it's not number three when she tried to, I told her to, you know, fix my hair because this is not what I want. I don't want to walk around with bleach blonde hair. So, she didn't get an attitude, but she was contemplating charging me more for something that I already asked for. Like, you're not going to charge me more just because you have to fix your mistake. Number four, she's an idiot. Point blank, period. <laughs> and five... She's lucky I'm not one of those like aggressive people who if you mess up my hair, I'm going to beat the crap out of you. So yeah, just a few things that I have to say about her. What else can I say? But yeah, I'm starting to get used to the color now, even though it's not the color I wanted. I want to still um, change the color to a brown, but since my hair is bleached and it was just colored so many times on Saturday even though it was a rinse like after she bleached it and put like another the brown color that didn't come through she put like a bunch of but not bunch of like two rinses and she mixed it a like a so I think it's called like a sweet cognac color and like a reddish color and she mixed that together and this is what came out so 
Um, I lost my train of thought. I'm being nosy, y'all. <laughs> um, I forgot my train of thought. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know what I was talking about, so I'm just going to keep going. I've gotten used to it. I thought I looked like a clown when I first got it done. Because I couldn't take my parents' um, opinion because they just... They just, I just don't want to listen to their opinions at all. So when I got back to school um, on Sunday night, I had to meet with my group for a presentation that we were doing the next day. And they all said they really liked it. So I was like, okay, you know, maybe it's not so bad. And that's when my hair was straight. And so when I came back, I decided to, not flexi rod, I, um, used my wand and did like some little waves and stuff just to bump it a little bit and I like it a lot more like this like I feel like when it's straight it just looks really I don't know so you can see all the colors come together and I tell you I have so many colors in my head like in the back you can see where all the colors came together like it's crazy you can see it tragic y'all it's tragic but I'm getting used to it um I'm getting used to being a redhead, orange head, whatever. I keep wanting to touch it because um, it's just, I don't know, my hair just feels so fluffy and awesome and not because the girl did anything because she messed up my hair, but no, she do have some really good shampoo that, um, I don't know, made my hair feel real nice, but at the same time, I can do that too, so she ain't better than me though. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to say, I hit a hundred subscribers. Ooh. I'm like, I just want to dance. I just want to do a dance. I just want to dance, but I'm not. But yeah, I hit 100 subscribers. I'm at 105. Woo woo. Thanks, you guys, so much for subscribing to me. It just means so much. I ain't gonna cry. I ain't gonna cry, but I want to. But I won't. Because I'm a thug. And thugs don't cry, okay? <laughs> but, ow. God damn. I'm getting too excited. I need to chill out. Okay. But yeah. I'm really happy that I finally hit 100 subscribers. Like, I'm so excited for this giveaway. Ooh, ooh. Giveaway. Ooh, ooh. Giveaway. Um, I don't know when I'm going to put up the video for the giveaway. I think I might do it. <clears throat> it probably won't be up till Sunday. Like, all the speculations and regulations and all of that because yeah I have a lot to do this week there's a big party coming up this weekend so re get ready for my vlogging y'all my first vlog I feel like it's gonna be pretty awesome my life's not that exciting but when I get to do stuff it's pretty awesome my friends are crazy so get ready for that I know some of you guys wanted to see me vlogging and all that so. but yeah don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye